Welcome to NBA Jam! Hey there everyone, this is Dr. Side 2K Saber aka Side Sky Center and welcome to my next sports talk bag. My next this one's gonna be special because it's a twofer. It's I'm gonna put it my video. First off, it this is towards Max K. Shut the fuck up, Max Killer Killer. This motherfucker here just don't know when to be it that shut up. I mean this motherfucker had took woke was already was it already broken up? No, he has to take woke to another goddamn level. Apparently, Max Killer got fucking trigger over Kobe Covington calling out LeBron James, calling out both LeBron James and Black Lives Matter matter after his dominating after his dominating win over Black Lives Matter Ty, uh activist Tyrod Lue, who was who was such an asshole. He was just speaking like a robot about it. And also, COVID, COVID content, who is a Trump Trump supporter, was actually was t was dropping some truth bombs because he was, because you know he was so sick and tired of all these uh, Black Lives Matter, all these fucking idiots who always want to throw shade at the goddamn police for just doing their damn job. Okay, so what what like I said, what happened to what happened to fucking uh, George Floyd? We all agree he was fucked up, but. To say that all cops are bastards over this bullshit was kind of bullshit. Then again, we have come to find out that that um Eric that Eric Garner that uh, not Eric Garner uh George Floyd or why it's a court for George Kirby he wasn't even a good guy himself. I mean he was a criminal. Most of the people who were shot and killed by these most of these black lives that were lost by, at the hands of the police they were no criminals. George Floyd, Rashad Brooks, Breonna Taylor, I mean, Jacob Blake, he's still alive, but still. They're trying to glorify black criminals like they're the heroes. They're not in anything. And Kobe Covington, and like I said, Kobe Covington was, was, was calling out LeBron James after he gave Tyron Woodley a beatdown uh, this Saturday night that passed at uh, UFC. Uh, that's the nigga's name. Uh, Tyro, Tyron Willie, he was uh, he was speaking like a goddamn robot, say say nothing but Black Lives Matter. He was wearing a Black Lives Matter T-shirt during the pre-fight and also wearing a red hat, MAGA hat shirt, say make racist catch the fade again. Boy, it was so painful. It was so painful to watch. Watch. So hearing him getting his ass kicked by Kobe Covington. Was music to my beautiful ears. And Max Killinger will do anything to protect uh, his king. Decided to activate his super dope woke powers to um to say to try to defend the king, saying that um say that no uh, Black Lives Matter, saying and I quote Black Lives Black Lives Matter isn't the blame for the riots. The alt right is is for the blame for the riots. With this. Funny how he said that. So, which people actually brought this little tidbit up. It was like, okay, if Black Lives, oh yeah, damn, like what he said, like extreme right wing agitators are to blame for the riots. It was so goddamn stupid. And also, I have, and also one person on on this YouTube channel on D on D Day Cobra, you know, shout out for his channel. You might want to check it out. It's really good stuff. He actually Blooms, Bloomsbury Bodis actually said the following that that I that I agree with. So if Black Lives Matter aren't responsible for the riots, then then and it was the far right, then why did it take take the left over three months to condemn it? So, oh, that's easy. That was an easy question. It was. As a matter of fact, hold on, hold on. Let me write this down for him because it's like, or I think somebody already beat it to him. Uh, no, 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 okay, so, uh, I was, uh, no, nah, I was, uh, I will, I will just do it on the other time, but yeah, and also, Mike, New York City says it best, conservatives hate it when you lie to them, and liberals hate it when you tell them the truth, oh, Joe's Matsu, Matsusi is, uh, said it, said it fucking best, I mean, and also, and what he said is true. He remember, I remember too that Max Killinger was also crying and moaning and bitching because bitching because Tiger Woods won't say anything bad about the president. It's, I mean, I would say coronavirus is a real is a pandemic, but if we're gonna be honest, the real pandemic is Trump derangement 
derangement syndrome. I mean, oh my god. It's like, oh my god, ESPN went full, went full SJW. You never go full SJW. But evidently, Max Kidder is only saying this shit because he wants to protect LeBron James. Oh, and speaking of LeBron James, there has been reports coming out. There has been reports coming out that LeBron James... Hold on, hold on, try to find it. Try to find my notes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on my phone and, um, you know. Ah, here we go. LeBron James is actually paying convicted felons fines so that they can vote for Joe Biden. Yes, LeBron James is actually paying the fines of convicted felons so they can vote for Joe Biden. Which is stupid because, oh, uh, I was like, really, LeBron? You're going to pay convicted felons their fines just so they can vote for Joe Biden? Wow. Fucking Wow. This is one of the reasons why I don't... There are so many reasons why I hate... I fucking hate LeBron James. And what he just did... Just added a new notch to that... To that legacy of failure. To that legacy of my hatred for this motherfucker. I would, I would say legacy of failure, but nah. This guy has, has three championship rings... Under, three championships under his belt. And multiple MVPs under his belt. And I'm pretty sure he's going to get a fourth one, so nah. Like I said, he, w he will be remembered. He'll be remembered as the most narcissistic son of a bitch that the media will not stop sucking his dick. And he'll be the one who managed to ruin the league to become a goddamn social justice warrior. Like I said, he... Like I said, all these idiots are doing, including LeBron James are doing, they are trying their damnedest in the next few weeks just to get Trump out of office. But all they're doing, but all they're, what these idiots are doing, him and Max Killinger, all they're doing is just, help, is just making new Trump supporters every fucking day. And Black Lives and the, and like I said, to back to that question, yeah, he, Max Killinger tried to say that the far right is is the one behind the riots, not Black Lives Matter. Okay, then why then why did the left only took uh, o, the only took three months to condemn it? The right they had nothing to do with the riots. The riots. It was the left, and the reason why the left took only three days to condemn it was because they didn't do it just for because the, they want to protect the people. Oh no 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 no. They did. They condemned it. Because of one reason, it hurt them in the fucking polls. It hurt them way more than it's a, way more, and it didn't do nothing but help Trump in the polls. That was all. That was just all this about. Oh my God! See, see this whole shit is gonna be crazy, man. But like I said, I'm gonna say I will. I'm gonna end this video right here by saying the following. Fuck you, LeBron James, for trying to for try to do election tampering, because that's ex electric tampering because he was a piece of shit. And also, fuck you, Max Killinger of ESPN, for trying to say some shit just to protect LeBron James. This is the most b I never seen this level of bullshit coming coming from the left in my entire life. But here we are. It's 2020, a goddamn election year. <sighs> fucking hate I you know shit like this makes me want to hate people and I'm usually and I'm usually nice and all that bullshit you know you know what I'm talking about right uh, but anywho I just want to get this off my chest like literally off my chest um and but I would like to hear your two sets of the whole matter on it of this whole thing as always be sure to leave a comment like this video subscribe to this channel um and do all the other good stuff. Until next time, this is Dark Side 2K7, aka Sonic Sky Say Sir. Signing off. I'll catch you later. But seriously though, ESPN. Y'all going woke is the reason why nobody takes you your ass as serious anymore. Shit. How about I take my shit? How about I take my chances listening to YouTubers like Fist like Fist Vegas, Sports Wars, Too Raw for TV. 
All those other, all the others. Hell, even Fox fucking News, even the Outkick, they're listening to you idiots because y'all guys got gone so goddamn woke. Well, it wouldn't make sense because after all, you guys were owned by the goddamn Disney, goddamn Disney uh, Corporation, which last time I checked is separate to goddamn money and and them um, and them um, and their movie Mulan remake flop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But seriously though, Max Killinger, shut the fuck up. And also, fuck you, Stephen A. Smith.